So these are the three hottest young stars on TV right now on a hot show. It's a big introduction. He's That's like, a, I know. It's true though. That's I I said we were talking on the red carpet and I predicted the show would do well and it did. Four mil. What's like four million on CW, which Rough is amazing, million. right? A little more than that. No, no? The, the premiere month. week was five million. Yeah. With the DVR and everything was like seven or eight. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's hot. It's, it's doing decent. well. And uh, does that feel good for you all? It does. It feels yeah. really really good. Yeah. Uh, there's you know there's nothing better than. Than success. That. Yeah, it's just like we do the work and we all put so much work into it and we're proud of it and then yeah. the fact that the people like it and they're watching and enjoying it, it's just it's that much more gratifying. Yeah. I agree. It does go beyond just doing it, it, the success of it all. It is about doing the work and the entire cast. This is definitely an ensemble mm -hmm. cast and everyone they they carry their own weight and, 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 and even, you know, behind the camera, you know, all the writers, the directors the producers, they're so hands-on. I've never been on a set with people that are more passionate about making something that's really, really special. Yeah, I completely agree. If it wasn't for Kevin and Julie, we wouldn't be yeah. here. And Marcos Siega. And yeah. Marcos Siega. Yeah. Marcos. Do you guys go and pay attention to what people are saying about the show? Do you read the blogs or any of that stuff? Too I, dangerous? I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. You can't? Mm -hmm. I, I, I would... You know, I would be like Paul really depressed. Paul especially would be very depressed. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't read. And I told you <laughs> earlier with all the different criticism and yeah. all the fabricated stories that are in the media, I just can't do that because yeah. it's so much of it's not true and yeah. everybody has an opinion. So. Well, that's what happens when you get on a hit show, though. Everybody wants to know about your personal life beyond knowing about the show. Yeah. You know what true. I mean? Well, because they feel like they know you because you're in their television, yeah. in their living room every yeah. week, but really. You do, like those are just characters, yeah. and we're all. I mean, Ian and Paul are awesome people, and they're great. But Thanks, Nina. <laughs> Thanks, but, Nina. but they're not Damon and Stefan. Stop Stephen. lying yeah. to these people. Nina. <laughs> they're yeah. not vampires in real life. Why do you or think are they? Oh, I don't know. Why do you think the vampire genre has still continued to just grow and grow, and people are so excited about it and they just love it? I think you know it, there's, it, that's an interesting question. Simply, one of the one of the interesting facts is that. The genre kind of never went away. It was just in a sort of dormant stage. And, yeah. and with the unbelievable box office success of the Twilight franchise, clearly that sort of paved a way, or not a way, it paved a freeway yeah. for these yeah. sort of vampire like, shows to... Like the whole sort of mythology of vampires was so, Absolutely. it was always so powerful and, and, and so present. You know, for me even, you know, Anne Rice was a huge part of you know, growing up, like I loved Anne Rice and Interview with the Vampire, and so um, I just think exactly what Ian says, just been dormant, but waiting to sort of come out. They've been present. They've, they've always yeah. been present. There's always been influences, and they're timeless. Okay, I'm gonna and take meanwhile, them, I'm going to take them all down to New Orleans one weekend and show them. Oh yeah. So that's where I'm from. Show them what real vampire lore is about. Oh. And speaking of vampire lore, you got True Blood, Twilight, Vampire Diaries, all here in the house tonight. Yeah. That's amazing, that's right? Have you like crossed paths with anybody? Go, yeah, <laughs> over, go, go, bloodsuckers. Yeah, yeah. No, they're awesome. Yeah, I just met Anna Paquin for the oh, first time. Yeah, oh, we chatted, did. and oh, she's really awesome. sweet. So, we're all in support of each other. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Okay, now when I saw you at Comic Con, you had just ran into Carlton and Damon, uh -huh. creators of Lost, and they were gonna get you back to the island. Have you gone back and shot it? I did go back. It was a lot of fun. It was very quick. Um, it was very sweet. Yeah. And I'm very happy, happy, very happy, and very grateful to have gone back and seen my friends and, and the fans a, will be happy and, and been a part of it yeah. yeah okay really quickly the Halloween episode next week what can you tell us about that in two weeks there's a real oh, two weeks yes. oh, two oh weeks. I gotta wait two weeks yeah. for it yeah. what can you tell me then um, it's gonna be you know, there's going to be a lot of vampires. <laughs> Listen to there us. We're stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot happening yeah. that we, we definitely too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we but, can't talk yeah, about. But it's, 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 we can just say that it's going to be an yeah. intense episode. So you're telling me nothing. Thanks a lot. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Basically. We want to maintain that intrigue, that mystery. Yeah. Yeah. He's used to that. So. <laughs>